So in the last video, we discussed about the BigQuery UI where you saw the query editor and the query uh, results section. In this video, what we are going to do is we will write few more queries and anybody who is aware of SQL, they should be able to run through this without any problems. So let's start creating few queries. Let's run the previous query for now and you would see that it results. Now, if you have the date, I want to extract the month portion of the date. Let's do that. So let's click on compose a new query. And this is the statement. So select format underscore date, percentage B, percentage Y. This is for month, this is for year and date. Date is this date as month. So I'm aliasing this calculation as month. And then again, the state name equals New York from this particular table, as we were discussing in the previous one. And order by two, meaning it orders by date. Because remember, now the month would be the first column and the star would be all of these columns. Let's run it. and done within 0.3 seconds of course there were number of 82 records only so month date state fifth score confirmed cases and the number of deaths in new york state very simple let's do another query we are going to calculate the number of cases by month please note that the confirmed cases are not daily increases but the confirmed cases are cumulative that means if there is there are two cases here 11 so 11 includes these two it's like a balance statement it's like your account statement every day if you have a statement it is not for that day it's cumulative to that period it's a snapshot fact so let's understand this the 610 here on march 14th does not mean that on that day there were 610 cases no the cumulative up till that point were 610 so if i have to find out monthly how many cases i have to look at the 31st of march that means the last day of the month so for march there were 76000 cases for april the total number of cases by april 30th which is the last day of april the total number of cases were 309,696 and so on and so forth. So let's write that query. So the query is by state, which is, I have now selected two states, New York and Michigan. So by state, the same format date option, and then I'm gonna do a max. Of course, it's the max number of cases because it's cumulative simple and then group by by state and month say run there you go so now you have the results so you see f0 i'm just gonna say as confirmed cases and this is confirmed cases. Let's create a view. So to create a view, it's very simple. Create or replace view. And here I'm going to write DDCS1-278103. So this is the name of the project which I created, BDCS1. And this was the ID which was automatically provided. So BDCS 1-278103.dataset. So you need to create a data set. So click on the BDCS 1 and click on create data set. It's like a schema, right? So data set. Sleep all the default options for now and say create data set. 
we can see that a data set is created and then you have to run this query so click on run and you say that it's you can see that a view is created please note the icon for the view and a view is now created now let's say select star from this view and here you go you would see statements running off the view very simple and you know it's it's nothing no different from what you have been doing in oracle or any other databases versus here so thank you for watching